Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. A woman was struck while crossing the Bertrand Drive in Lafayette near Erac Landry Road. Police say she died on the scene. The Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office needs your help identifying a Hispanic male victim. Believed to be about 20 to 30 years old, he was found dead from a gunshot wound early Saturday morning. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm New Cinch Jasmine Dean. The family of the hit and run victim two months ago, Chester Tebow, are still seeking answers for his case. They honored Tebow with a balloon release at the Broussard Sports Complex. Family and friends gathered to pray, share memories, and express how much Tebow is loved. Today, a grand jury will decide if anyone could face charges for the death of Ronald Green. On May 10th of 2019, Green's family was told he died from a car crash during a high speed police chase. But two years later, video evidence was released showing Green being beaten, tased, and dragged along the ground. An elderly woman with an alleged medical condition crashed her vehicle into a ditch, hit a tree, became airborne, and landed on the roof. Police believe her medical condition caused the crash. Firefighters battled a three-alarm fire in New Orleans Sunday morning as a one-story structure and five boats had caught fire at Seabrook Harbor. Governor John Bill Edwards will be in Broussard later this morning to attend a groundbreaking ceremony celebrating the start of the Ambassador Caffrey Interchange, a future I-49 South project. How about a little country music this morning on the Acadiana Music Spotlight featuring Buddy Andrews. Don't forget AcadianaCalify.com has you covered when it comes to spotlighting our local musicians. It's a cold morning in Acadiana to start off this Monday. Temperatures 30s to 40s, already cloudy as well. Chilly to cool for the afternoon, 63. We will start to see some isolated showers, I think, after that 2 to 3 p.m. hour. And then heavy widespread storms will move in late tonight after 6 p.m. All right, a very cold morning, and I don't think it's getting any warmer. Anytime I know, soon. yeah. Bundle up for sure. Thanks for joining us here on Pot Spot 2. See you at noon.